Now, senior partner at Gill, uh, Godlinton and Gerrans. They're, of course, a corporate law firm based in Harare, but now he's in South Africa. Thanks so much for your time. Appreciate it. I know you're on vacation, so let's get through this uh, quickly so you can leave. What do you have to say about the MDC Alliance now saying that the Constitutional Court is captured and it was not a fair decision? Well, uh, <laughs> I think <laughs> a few observations. Firstly, our society is very divided, unfortunately and you get two people, maybe honest people with totally different views of the same thing. So um, I, I have not read the reasons for the judgment, so it's very difficult to see or to say sitting here whether one can criticize that, mm -hmm. that outcome. Uh, even the evidence itself, I mean, you know, there's a lot of evidence submitted to the court um, to what extent um, that would be sufficient to upset the election result pronounced, it's difficult to say. Um, but the bottom line is that that's the final court. It has made a ruling. And of course, I mean, I've been a lawyer for many years litigating, and you win some, you lose some. Mm. Sometimes you have to live with the result that you don't like. It's a final ruling. So I think MDC may have concerns, and perhaps some of them legitimate, but they have to accept that that's the end of the road, really. Well, when you look at Zimbabwe's justice system, its independence has been questioned several times while uh, Robert Mugabe reigned because, you know, there were other court challenges as well against election results. And it was in favor of uh, Robert Mugabe. The question then, when people raise concerns about the independence of the judicial system, some would say is warranted. Well, in general, one would say this. I think if you remember, when our last... Uh, the former Chief Justice died at his funeral. Former President Mugabe said he was our judge, virtually saying we told him what to do, which was unfortunate in the sense that it betrayed something that perhaps people suspected. That is about the former Chief Justice. I can't say about the new Chief Justice who's only, I mean, since last year appointed, uh, that uh, he necessarily falls into, into that category. I think. It's early days yet. People must give him a chance to demonstrate his uh, independence and his, um, you know, dedication to the rule of law. It is very difficult. These are contested issues. They, they always were. And uh, I think in many ways it's a reflection of our current environment in Zimbabwe. Well, that's the thing. People will say this decision and this ruling is a reflection of the judicial system. And of course, it is the highest court in the land. There's nowhere else the MDC can true, go now. Very true. Um, and that's why when you question the constitutional court's decision, it's a major thing. Indeed. Can I just say this? Because I think people sometimes have um, you know, faded memories. But you might recall that in 2003, in the US, the Supreme Court made a very important ruling that denied Albert Gore, you know, the outcome of the presidential election in, in, the, in the US. Mm. And subsequently, when evidence was looked at, it was clear that he would have won uh, Florida and won the election. But the Supreme Court denied him a recount. And some said it was a political decision. Others said it, it was just the law being applied. But what that demonstrates, in my view, is that you will always have these contestations. And um, people must be careful how they deal with them because the country must move on, mm. in my view, anyway. So the MDC, of course, is now looking for support to go to the streets. It's asking the African Union and SEDEC for help and assistance to try and still get these election results overturned. But as you mentioned, the Constitutional Court has final say. No outside body can come and try to declare these elections null and void. I think so. I would agree with you there because, you see, um, I would also say that you know, if they felt that they could not trust the court, then they should not have gone to the court. Having submitted to the jurisdiction of the court, I think it's only right that they should accept the outcome. Uh, I know there are politicians, they may have other um, you know, factors that they take into account in any decision-making process, but the bulk of them are actually lawyers, mm. admitted to practice before that very same court. So I, I, I think at the end of the day, I know that they may be feeling very strongly now, but let time pass. You know, the country has to move on. They have to move on. Yeah. And, and what control does the Justice Minister, or influence, I should say, does the Justice Minister have 
over the judicial system in Zimbabwe? Because, you know, the work permits were denied of the three South yes. African attorneys who wanted to represent the MDC. Indeed. Well, you know, um, in terms of our law, lawyers coming from outside the country, particularly from South Africa, can be admitted in the formal process of an application or they can get a certificate where there's not enough time to process an irregular application which deals with the issue of residence more than anything else. Uh, and I know that they were denied that privilege. He has a discretion to grant it or not grant it. Whether that discretion was abused or not, I cannot say. I don't know the facts. Um, as for control over the courts, in terms of our law, our judges are independent and they have security of tenure and strictly the Chief Justice should have no control over them. Now, whether as a matter of practice it does have, I really wouldn't know. I mean, I would be guessing there. And lastly, as an attorney in Zimbabwe, a new dawn, many would say, are you optimistic about the future of the country? I am, I am. I am. It's a, it's a nation of many young people um, who want to get ahead with their own lives. Um, unfortunately, the people that uh, are currently in power are all in their late 60s or 70s, and it's my own personal view that, like in anything else, they should really be prepared at some stage, you know, to give way to younger people to run the country. It's a country of young people. Mm. I'm optimistic. I mean, you know, sometimes the darkest days, before, you know, the hours are before dawn, so yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm hopeful. Optimism is great. Thanks so much for your time. We Thank appreciate you. it.